Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner, and today we're taking a look at the air rifle version of the Ruger 1022 in 177 caliber. The Ruger 1022 firearm is probably the most popular 22 long rifle firearm of all time. It's been around for years and years and years, and pretty much everybody shot one at some point. Now, it's a semi automatic, like I said, 22 long rifle. The air rifle version is an exact replica of that, except it is a CO2 powered 177 caliber pellet shooter. Announced at Shot Show 2019 by Umarex, some very nice features being packed into this package here. Very excited to shoot this 1022. Before we get into some more detail about it, go ahead, click that like button. Don't forget to comment down below and let us know what you think of the 1022 and subscribe. Starting at the front of the gun, we do have a non-adjustable front sight. We do have a little brass bead there, which is gonna contrast nicely. Uh, we've seen these before on the Umarex lever action, so this should work very well for most of you out there that are gonna run the 1022 with the open sights. Now working our way back, we do have an 18 inch rifled barrel, and that's housed kind of in this uh, faux shroud there. It doesn't actually do anything. Uh, this is just to give you that profile of the real firearm. Working our way back, we do have a barrel band that covers the whole action as well as the stock there. Uh, and then moving on back to the breech, which is really the meat and potatoes of the rifle here. We've already gone ahead and installed a Picatinny rail. This is an option we're going to have for you guys. For those of you that do want to mount a scope, because the 1022 doesn't come with traditional mounts. So you do need to get an adapter of some sort to go ahead and put an optic on this gun. And one thing I actually just missed blew right by it there is this rear sight. Now this is elevation adjustable only, but it does also flip down forward so that you can mount a scope that's maybe a little longer, has a little bit bigger objective bell on it. Now we've gone ahead and mounted a Mantis 3 to 9 by 32 uh, in some leapers rings on here for you. It has the adjustable objective mill dot reticle. This is going to be a nice complement to this rifle, going to be very nice for plinking. And we're going to actually be packaging this with the mounts with the scope rail and everything for you guys so you can get it just set up right like this if that's what you want. Now moving over to the right hand side of the breech, this is probably one of the nicest features that Umarex has gone and added into this rifle. Traditionally, this 1022 is going to be a double action trigger, so not a true semi-auto. So when you pull that trigger, and we've already gone ahead and made sure the gun's safe, no CO2 in it, you are actually bringing the hammer back and then releasing it as well. What Umarex has done is actually added a cocking mechanism to this so you can eliminate that first action. So now we have a single action trigger and you can see the trigger has been set back. It's much lighter, much crisper, feels a heck of a lot better. For those of you that are gonna be doing more target shooting plinking with this gun and don't want that fast follow-up of having that semi-auto capability, I suppose you could say that double action feel, this is gonna be great for you. You just cock that back, nice crisp pull, you're gonna get a much better experience out of that trigger. Now coming around to the left hand side of the gun, we do have a cross bolt style safety. You can see when the gun is hot, you have that nice red ring there and then you go ahead and push it through, renders the trigger inoperable and you are safe. Now moving forward to the magazine, this is patterned exactly like the firearm, which is very cool to see. It's the same profile and everything. You're gonna go ahead and put your thumb onto this tab and push forward. You're gonna reach your finger into this indent section here and then just pull out, very easy to do. Now we have our magazine housing out. Let's check this out in a little bit more detail. The magazine is a pretty simple design. Here's what you're gonna do. So we have our magazine housing, which is this black piece, and then our clip or our magazine itself, which is the red piece there. It has a locking mechanism on it. You're gonna slide this guy back and pull the actual clip out. This is a 10 round rotary style mag. So you're gonna load 10 pellets into here, drop it back in and then lock it in place and you are good to go. To load your magazine back into the gun, very simple. Just go ahead, press it up there. One note, it doesn't drop free, so if you pop that tab forward, the magazine's not going anywhere. You're not gonna lose it in the field or anything like that a lot. Uh, talking about the stock, you obviously it's a polymer stock, nice feel to it. You have some nice checkering in the grip and the forend areas as well. Uh, the gun comes into the shoulder nicely, not a raised cheek piece or anything like that, uh, but still has a nice feel to it, obviously very similar to the real thing, guys. One other nice feature I should mention here, they have gone ahead and built in swivel 
swivel uh, points for you to mount a sling onto this gun. So you have one in the rear, one in the front. Nice little feature to add on there if you're gonna be carrying this around, plinking with it. Now loading CO2, very easy to do on this 1022. Uh, you'd normally use a coin for this next part, but I can just use my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and press in on this button on the back and then twist there till it pops out. And then I can actually pull off the butt pad here, which is plastic. Uh, but it exposes my Allen key. Umarex is great at doing this in terms of working the Allen key into the gun so you really can't lose it. Uh, I like that a lot. You're going to take the Allen key, put it into the end of your piercing cap. Now this is a very long piece here. And once you have that piercing cap loose, you just pull it on out. You can see we have a seal there and also a piercing stud right in the end and that's because you're piercing both cartridges at the same time we'll show you how that works now you go ahead you're going to take your two co2 cartridges got them here you're going to load the first one face down so that tip is going to go down there's a piercing screw on the inside of the gun make sure that goes down all the way and then you're going to take your second cartridge and go ahead and put it tip up now we're going to go ahead and replace the piercing cap so we're just going to get it started there and then we're gonna take our Allen key and drive it home. And I don't know if you guys just heard it pressurized, but it's popping those two CO2 cartridges at the same time. So very nice and easy process there. Then we just go ahead, replace our butt pad, take this tab, press it on in and twist it back around. Pops out nice and flush and you're good to go shoot. So that's what we're gonna do guys. We're gonna head out to the range, see how the 1022 performs. So for our accuracy testing today, we took the 1022 out to 20 yards. Figured most of you guys were gonna be going that 20, 25 yard range max with this CO2 powered gun. So taking a look at our results here, the H&N Barracuda Field Target Pellets, a nine and a half grain pellet, 0.92 inches for five shots. Pretty solid there, but a little bit better. The Crossman Premier Hollow Points at 7.9 grains, a 0.85 inch group. Very solid results. Now all of our groups, five shots here, and everything was done from that single action uh, position for the trigger. So pulling that bolt back for each shot makes my life a little bit easier and reduces the trigger pull significantly. So for you target shooters out there, I'm definitely recommending you shoot this thing in single action only. Uh, but that that double action sure is a lot of fun for getting rounds downrange quickly. Overall, the 1022 definitely has the goods from an accuracy perspective. Pretty pleased with these results. If you enjoyed today's video on the Ruger 1022, hit that like button. Go ahead, comment down below. Let us know what you think of the gun, if you're going to be picking one up soon. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. To wrap things up today, overall, I'm very pleased with this 1022 replica. Really glad that somebody, Umarex namely, has finally brought that 1022 replica into the market of air guns. It's a fantastic offering and it's a lot of fun to shoot. Whether you're a backyard plinker or you're looking for more target application in the backyard, this is gonna be a great option. Uh, the double action pull is obviously a little heavy, guys, but does give you that fast follow-up shot capability. But I really, really like the ability to run this gun as a single action lighten that trigger pull and shorten it up a bit makes it a lot more target shooting friendly. You're getting a good number of shots on two 12 gram CO2s right around 70 to 80. Good velocity, 550 out of an eight grain pellet. Overall, the performance is there, sub one inch groups out to 20 yards. This is gonna be a plinker's dream for the backyard. Definitely check it out next time you're on pyramidair.com. For the insider, I'm Tyler Patner. We'll see you guys at the next one.